Between two weeks from today, the scary season is in full swing. Ghosttober, as one cable channel calls it, has people sharing stories of paranormal activity in their homes, hotels, parks, and at work. Emily Fannin has the haunted history of a brew pub, a venue some consider among the most haunted places in Madison. It is a gorgeous building, so much rich history. During the day at Great Dane Pub and Brewing Company, it's a popular spot in the heart of downtown Madison to grab a bite to eat or enjoy a cold beer. But when employees wrap up their work for the day, that's when strange things typically occur. I was sitting here adding up my credit card receipts and you know finishing my shift and I heard someone ask me what time it was. What time is it? Coming from back there. Molly Conkey has been working at the Great Dane for over three years and she says it only took her a few weeks to finally ask her co-workers how many ghosts are in the building. We had just cleared this area out. Um, there was a few patrons, not a lot left close to last call. Both me and the co-worker facing the stairwell watch a man walk up the stairs. I go to say something, excuse me, sir, you know, that area is close to the public, and he's, poof, gone. Is it the same man that everyone sees? Yep, yep, same old man. Another spooky tale often talked about is when two bartenders were counting money in the pool hall, and it sounded like someone was knocking down pool cues one by one to the ground, but no one was there. Matt Pace, who oversees the daily operations at the Great Dane, says most employees share the same experiences. It has resulted in what I would think would be a lot of similar experiences, and sometimes when there's just too much coincidence, <laughs> perhaps there's something else underlying that. So you might be wondering why this building is considered to be haunted. Well, before this brew pub was established in 1994, it was known as the Fess Hotel. It was built in the 1850s and owned by English immigrant George Fess. Recently, a piece of history was revealed with this mural. It came to light after a parking garage was torn down this summer. We didn't know that there would be this uh, big historic mural in Pace, uh, this big signage. And so that was super exciting. Heather Bailey works for the city as a historical preservation planner. She says the Fess Hotel was a place that welcomed all kinds of travelers. But one thing it didn't offer was booze. One of the fun facts that I tracked down was that Carrie Nation, who um, was sometimes known as uh, Hatchet Granny, she was a big temperance proponent. And so uh, there's pictures of her with her hatchet. Um, and she would go to bars and hatch it up the bars to try to shut down the bars. She stayed here in 1901 because this was one of the few hotels that didn't have a bar in it. Research shows the Fess family were strong supporters of the temperance movement, a social group who frowned upon the consumption of alcohol. One theory Bailey believes could be behind the bizarre activity is because the former owners and patrons disapprove of the transition from a popular hotel to a brew pub. The Fest Hotel is, was also one of the first boarding houses or hotels here in Madison. And I've also heard that this was not the best area at one point in history. It, this was considered the red light district. This building, which has been around for well over a century, is filled with memories. It's even listed on the National Register of Historic Places. But next time you visit the Great Dane in the capital city, you might want to ask your server if they have any stories to tell. 25 years of a restaurant, 150 plus years of what used to be a hotel, there's been a lot of histories and stories and people's trajectories that have come through this space that those tens of thousands of people did not maybe leave something behind or some of their energy, who knows?